Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to divide a decimal by a whole number. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, divide $3.99 divided by 24. We have to deal with some long division here, 24, and go into and we have $3.99. We're going to make sure our decimal place lines up here. Okay. Now, we don't write the dollar sign right now, but we'll keep that in mind. Can 24 go into 3? No. Can 24, well, go into 39? And the answer is yes, one time. 1 times 24, 24 right there. Let's subtract the two numbers here. 9 minus a 4 is a good old 5. And 3 minus 2 is a 1. We want to bring down that 9. Now, can 24 go into 159? And the answer is, well, not evenly, but if we multiply it by 6, we get 144. And we get pretty close. Subtract the two numbers here. 9 minus a 4 comes out to be a uh, 5 again. And 5 minus a 4 is a 1. 0, or 1 minus 1 is a 0. Don't need that. Since we're dealing with, well, money, cents here, we're going to only really round to the nearest, well, hundredth, right? Because we want to get our cents, we don't need fractions of a penny. So we'll do one more and we can use that to round that decimal. So we can do a place value here, put a zero, bring that down because, well, 24 can't go into 15. And we have that right here. Now 24 can go into 150, we know six times again, because 6 times 24 is a 144. Subtract so with the numbers. Well, 0 minus 4, can't do that. Pull from the 5, that becomes a 4, carry the 1. 10 minus 4 is a 6. 4 minus 4, 0, and then 1 minus 1, 0. And I'm actually going to stop, like I said, here. We have enough information to really write our answer. 0 0.166 approximately, right, is our answer. And if we want to round that to the nearest, well, cent, we look to the 6 right here. Again, we're not dealing with fractions of a penny. We're not at a gas station. 6 goes, well, makes it round up, right? 6 is between 5 and 9, causing this other 6 to round up to a 7. So we have a 0 0.17 as an approximate answer to our question, which was, what's $3.99 divided by 24? Again, we got 17 sense. I hope you learned something here on how to divide a decimal by a whole number. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.